Yo, what's up, everybody? Did this post another new leak on the like channel and also in the Funky Friday Discord server? We're gonna be diving right into that leak video. So make sure you guys smack the like so more people know about the leaks. Don't forget to subscribe, use star code attack, and let's dive right into this. So they posted this leak around 2.20 a.m. as of tonight on the like channel and also in the Discord server for Funky Friday. Let's play the leak on the video. Let's see what we can pull from it as well. <laughs> So yeah, it looks pretty sussy in here, guys. We got a lot of stuff going on in this leak video here. I was able to find four leaks for you guys from this video. So let's dive right into this. Now, let's talk about the animations. The one that Java Coded is showcasing on the left side is going to be one that we've seen in the game already. It's going to be the boxing animation. We've already seen this one. It's already in the game. As well as the right side, the Aussie is showing. It's going to be the major animation, which is, once again, another animation that is currently in the game. Now, there's nothing major about these two animations. They might be doing some minor tweaks to them. Maybe that's why they're showcasing them. But other than that, there's nothing really major happening with these two animations. Now, the first major leak I can pull from this video is definitely going to be the new arrow skins that we can see on the left hand side of the screen. This is going to be the crewmate or the imposter arrow skins and this is going to be one of the first animated arrow skins into the game. Now if you look even closer at the arrow skins you notice that whenever you do an input with the arrow skin the mouth of the imposter actually opens and you can see their tongue as well which is pretty interesting. This does have a little bit of an animated effect whenever you do an input, which is one of the first arrow skins to do so, which is going to be pretty cool. We might be able to see even more arrow skins in the future that might incorporate stuff like this, which would be insane. Now, I'm not sure if this arrow skin is going to be a very useful one. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to improve your gameplay or sort to speak. But, it is going to be a cool one to use, and it's going to be very sussy, too. The next major leak that we can pull from the video is going to be the new background as well. Now, if we look in the background, we can see that it's filled with a lot of crewmates. It's going to be filled with a lot of other imposters as well, which is pretty sussy, not going to lie. But, if you guys don't know where this background comes from, it actually comes from a mod. We actually played it earlier on stream as well on the channel. It comes from the Versus Imposter V three mod more specifically the reactor song which is a third song where you go up against the green imposter if you guys look straight in the middle of the background you can see the reactor core it has a little bit of an animation effect as well which is really cool and like i said before you'll see all those crewmates to the side of the background as well which gives you a very sussy feeling and honestly does a great representation of the mod in funky friday as well the next leak that we can pull from the video is going to be the new emote that lego is showing Showcasing on top of the speakers as well. Now this email is not from any mod It's actually an original emote that comes with a video called Chinese Weibo plays Asu dance Yeah, I'm not kidding man. This actually comes from that video, which is pretty funny now If you watch the video a little bit you guys can see that these two players who are playing Asu are actually Just dancing around and doing the same emote that Lego is doing on top of the speakers as well, which is pretty funny I wish I could do it too. It goes like <laughs> I mean, I wish I could dance like them, man. I really wish I could. Now, this emote could go anywhere between 300 to 500 points. I don't think it's going to be a very expensive emote at all. It's pretty basic. There's no 3D model changes to the speakers or anything like that comparing it to the other emotes. So, I think it's going to be a pretty nice emote for the bank here. And lastly, we do have our last major leak as well. That's going to be the new song that they're going to add into the game, which is going to be the Rockefeller Street song. Now, this doesn't come from a specific mod but it does incorporate a new character called Ina which most of you have probably have heard of now the song is going to be created by Jenner Jenny and also Santi Oku one of which Santi Oku we've seen some of their songs being added in the past 
expertiosis. And also, due to all the crewmate auditions and all of this, like, sussy auditions with the arrow skins and the backgrounds and whatnot, I would safely assume that we could see most of the songs from the Versus Imposter V3 mod coming to Funky Friday as well. Now, I'm not sure if every single song, including Defeat, will be coming to Funky Friday. I would assume that possibly all of them might be coming to Funky Friday, except for the meme ones. I'm not sure if Skinny Nuts is going to be coming into the game. That's a pretty meme -y song, don't get me wrong. But we could probably see all the other songs come into the game here as well. But what do you guys think about it? Are you all excited for Versus Imposter V3 and also the Rockefeller Street song to come to Funky Friday? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys smack the like. More people gotta know about these leaks, man. Subscribe, use Tarko to tank, and we'll see you guys in the next one.